scares you. Photopathic zombie, you're quite full of yourself. Right, I am just a zombie. And you're about to find out how this pathetic zombie managed to defeat the strongest god of destruction. So listen up. Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz. This is going to be a disguise six guide on how to max your characters. This is how I'm maxing my characters. I'm sure there's many, many different ways of doing this, but this is how I'm currently doing it. And for you to be able to do this method, you're going to need to have unlocked Carnage mode. And once you've unlocked Carnage mode, then you can do this. But you're going to need some levels. Right now, let me show you where I'm at level-wise and everything. And I'm going to also switch up my classes and show you guys, in case you don't know how to do that, how to do that on unique characters or named characters however you want to word it like Mizador here you go to status and you go to classes and currently the yellow one is the one he's on now and I'm gonna switch it to undead and I'm gonna hit the right trigger and go to the next person this is the 10 person squad that I'm working on building up right now this is probably not my final squad I'm just building up some new videos on the certain classes the newer classes that they put into Disgaea 6 but for now these are the ones I'm using in this video okay let's just go through these and I'm just going from the bottom up you can go from the top down or unlock the ones you want it doesn't really matter at this point the main reason why we're doing this is if you're not aware there are merit demerits for unlocking classes and what these do is they give you see he's got 10 right now it unlocks max evil T cost by one so what that means is I'm gonna go ahead and accept this and I'll roll through all my other characters and do the same thing should take just a minute if you're not sure what I'm hitting here when I'm here so if you see the exclamation point and demerits, if you hit the minus key, it'll bring up any one that you need to complete without you having to scroll through the list. Oop, he's got more than one. All right. Don't worry, there's only, oh, jeez. They're, they're going faster than I'm paying attention to my demerits. <laughs> all right, let's make sure we get all these. All right, just the one for her. She's newer to the squad, so I haven't built her up as much. Same with Peori. And Melodia. Alright, so we're done with that. So, Evil Tees and e Evilities. I'm sorry, I always say ev Evil Tees because that's how I'm used to saying it, but it's Evilities, like abilities. You have... 15 of 17 possible points that I can put into here for King Mizador. So that means I got two more points that I can put into here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm unlocking all the abilities points that I can so that I can use as many abilities as possible here. Now, how I'm doing that, and let me show you my levels right now. I'm at 46... 4,659,000 um, level wise on these guys and gals. When I started this method, I was right around 2 million. So that kind of gives you an idea. All right. So, what you saw that I just switched all the classes. We're going to go over here into the dimensional gate. We're going to go up to Neo Human World and we're going to go Royal Chamber. Let me show you one more thing before we do that my actually I want to I want to adjust this a little bit I'm gonna take this down to 700 you can see right now my current experience rate for class proficiency is 40 and I've been flying through these levels but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna max we're gonna I shouldn't say max we're gonna pump it up some 260 why not all right so anyways I'm at 20 enemy strength here my back to square one is off and that's pretty much all you really need to know over here See you, again. you don't need to go 20 stars to start this but if you can you should crank it up there as soon as possible 
So like I said, this is carnage mode. And if you're not unsure how to switch back and forth, it's the left and right buttons that switch between them. You want carnage. You can see on the right over there, it's going normal carnage. I want carnage mode. Royal Chamber 2. And it's probably going to be auto battler on which is fine I wanted to be on but I want to stop it here all right so you're gonna see that there's one character here he is a lucky board and he has he's level two million five hundred and forty now what makes this level difficult is the fact that he has an ability that oh I need to click on him not the my menu he has an ability that you have to one shot him in a, in a sense you have to take all of his health out in one hit otherwise you do no damage so I have two characters that can do that but when I was letting them all all my characters go all out they were all getting in the way of the two characters that could do it. So I stopped them from being all out. Made just the one character, my Galaxy Mage, the one to go all out on him. And I disabled all the other specials except for Elemental Burst. You can see that I have it really high level. I shouldn't say really high. It's a pretty high level. It's pretty decent for where I am in the game. Especially because I started when um, release was out. I restarted the game. I did play the demo, but I restarted the game because I didn't like the things that I did in the demo. And I didn't want those to carry over. So I started over. But anyways, you want to be able to one-shot this guy. Now, Zed could do it for me and my Galaxy Mage. So you have to one-shot him. If you read his other ability down there, a guy with obnoxiously high XP I don't know if it says anything in here about that increases his damage dealt by <laughs> that's what carnage does okay but yeah it uh, doesn't really say much about what that means obnoxiously high experience but if I let it roll you'll I'm see up. what I'm talking about my turn oh my turn. Keep in mind, this is just it. Carnage. This is not Raka Rakasashi, whatever the next one is. I don't I haven't unlocked it yet, so I don't know what it is. But it's not that. So, all right. 10 billion experience. Now, how does that correlate to the class experience? We're going to find out here in a second, especially since I boosted from 40 to 260%. We're going to definitely see. Remember, I just switched over to these classes before going into that one. Four stars in one, one go. Now, that's not that impressive. What will be impressive, impressive if I see any change on the six star. The six star is really slow, typically. So let's go ahead and give it one more run. And then we're going to go and we're going to check our class to see uh, we where we are on enough. the Shall we sixth oh, star, the last star, or the last uh, rank if you want I the die. correct verbiage. <laughs> Alright, so let's jump out of here. Ready. Back into Mizador class. It didn't even go in there. <laughs> Maybe the fifth one wasn't complete. All right, let's let it go one more time. Like I said, that sixth one is really slow. Go on. My way way to to I'm up. I'll All send right. It fly. One more had one shot, one opportunity to take out a lucky board. Would you take him out? Did you forget something? All right. Back to Mizador. 
All right, you can see a little yellow in there. So let's do this. I'm going to let this run for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to see where I'm at and show you guys how fast this is. Hopefully, within 30 minutes, I'll max out that six star. I should. I feel good about it. We will find out, though. So, uh, through the power of editing, I will be back. My turn. I shall go forth. All right. I am back. And we are about a minute away from, maybe two minutes away from being at the 30 minute mark. But we're going to go ahead and end it on this one. I died. And let's see where we're at on the rankings. I know you have no way of knowing if I left it on for 30 minutes or two hours or overnight, but just have to trust me, it was about 28 minutes or so, and that's when I came back on the video. All right, so that being said, let's jump in, take a look at Miza door again. Go down, and oh, you know what? He's not on Undead. He's on Warrior somehow. What? How did I switch him? Man, it is possible that... All right, all right, all right, all right. So, so something happened there. I don't know what it was. We're going to go ahead and switch all these other ones up. That was weird. I probably clicked something I shouldn't have. But all the, all the other ones, you can see that... Within 30 minutes, they mastered whatever class I put them on. The only one that didn't was Mizador, and that was one I was looking at, which is horrible. That's a horrible demonstration. So let's put this back down on the undead. All right, we got them all on new ones. Let's run it one more time and see if maybe, maybe I did it before I even ran. I went back in and ran it again. It's, it's uh, hard to tell when I messed that up. I guess you guys will be able to tell because you'll have the video evidence. Right, go, 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 Actually, we're going to run it twice. Yeah. We'll go ahead and yeah. hit the auto repeat. We're going to run it twice because we know the first one fills up five stars. We want to see what the second one does. Uh, my turn. It seems it's me. Uh, I died. And you saw Mizador, he maxed. He, well, he was on Warrior. He'd already maxed that out, so. Uh, yeah, we have no way of knowing what what, what happened there. But let's let's Let go back. When you're ready. So now Mizador should have some in that last one. Okay, you can see it a little bit. There we go. All right, so two runs and you get that much of a star. And if we go to the other ones, you can see that they got they have five stars now. And definitely the 30 minutes will fill up that last star. We saw that because they f they filled up all six stars in that amount of time. It probably wouldn't even take that long, to be honest with you. If we look at what Mizador has going on, we estimate that that's two, and that's about, say, 10%, maybe a little under. So 20 runs, and you would be close to maxing out that sixth rank there you can see how how quickly this is done now i do think that it's only fair that i let you guys understand how i built up my witch here i basically went over here and I turn all these off and you can just you can do that with the select button whatever your select button is mine is a but you can turn it on or off but what I'm doing with her is you can see let's go ahead and go to skills what am I thinking here I'm gonna go to skills we're gonna enhance her abilities we're gonna go Actually, skills. Um, we're going to enhance skill. We go here. Enhance power. And I'm just using all of her mana here. And the reason why I can do that is you notice that regardless if it's on 
5,774 or 6,154, the SP use does not go up. So you do not have to build up this character's SP to use this move. The other moves, yes. This move, no. I don't know why they chose to do that, but they did. So you could literally not build up your SP at all and have this spell just rocking and taking using like no SP at all. Whatever, whatever uh, the level, the lowest level SP you could have, and you'd still be able to cast this. The thing is, though, if you look at the power on this, at what am I at? Six thousand? Yeah, it says level up there. It's hard to read the little green, but on top it says six thousand one hundred fifty-four is the enhanced level. It does four hundred and twenty-nine million percent damage at that point, and for two quadrillion SP, which the only reason it's costing two quadrillion. Uh, SP is because that's what she has. She has two quadrillion SP. If you only have to cast it once, you can have it as powerful as you, you want or have her down to low SP and whatever. It doesn't really matter. What you Come could do, though, is there's a move or a ability, which I do not know if I have on her or not. Let's see. I do not. Let's go over here. Magic collection. You could use this, and she's gonna recover. I shouldn't say she's the character, because you can change gender. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff in this game. But uh, the witch, the mage, the galaxy mage, is going to recover five percent of the damage dealt. And since the damage that she's dealing is ridiculous. You can kind of see here that the max damage is 281 quadrillion. So if you take 5% of that, that's like 15 quadrillion SP coming back. And it cost 2 quadrillion to cast because that's all she has. So you're going to cast it, and by casting it, you're going to fill up your SP and be able to, to use this. Now... Like I told you before, the reason I'm using her is because she is one of the only ones that can actually one-shot that lucky board. But as you can see here, the amount of damage that Zed does, he can also one-shot that lucky board. So, get to... I'm going to show you again here. Neo Human World... Be able to go to Carnage, remember the, the buttons left and right, and Royal Chamber as quickly as possible. If you can't get to this one to start, you can go to the Human World and Rich Man's Plaza, and you could work your way up to like 200 to 300,000. Hero, level, level 300,000 or whatever, and be able to take on that lucky board at level one, zero on the... Uh, is it... Let me, let me look real quick. I don't want to give you guys bad information. Because right now, you saw the lucky board was pretty high level, but let's take it down to nothing on the enemy strength. And we will look to see... Please come again. The strength of the lucky board at nothing at default level on Carnage. This is how I'm going. I'm, I'm trying to level up my character so that I can unlock the next difficulty. But you can see it, it's 500,000. So you want to get your characters around 500,000. Want to make sure that somebody can do what is that? Thousand million tri trillion billion, billion trillion billion uh, wh whichever one that is is either billion or trillion. Trillions after billion, right? Yeah, billion trillions after billion. So that's fourteen trillion damage. So if you have somebody that can do fourteen trillion damage, you can take on this lucky board on Carnage with no stars, and then 
Oh. You can build up from there until you can build up your your stars on the enemy strength. So even at level not no stars, you see that I'm getting two billion XP. So use this method to level, help yourself get some classes ranked fully ranked out. Unlock those ability points so that you can use more abilities. And that's how you progress to the, the next level. At least that's how I'm trying to progress. And I've watched other people's videos. I've, I've done a lot of experimenting to try to see what the best, me best methods are. And this is what I found is the best method without going to... I don't even know what level these are. Let's go Peaceful World. Oh, wait. No, we, gotta, we need to go back. This is the next step, which I don't even know if I can beat it at this point. I don't know why I'm going into all this <laughs> uh, leveling up tips, but it's a bonus. It's a bonus. All right, so you saw that I turned back to square one off. What that does is once you beat a level, it changes what happens on that level the next time you come in. Some levels, it doesn't really change much, if anything. On others, it changes everything, including again. the enemies that you're going to face. So with no stars, and we're going to go to Peaceful World. This is another really good area to farm for levels and uh, class experience. Let's turn Auto Battler off for a moment here. Shall we begin? Let's see what level these guys are, level one. That is... 2,200,000 level, which I do not think I'm going to be able to beat. Well, I am 4 million. Let's see what happens. Oh, all right. Oh, now she's got a mono. Because I don't have that move on her. So let's go ahead and bring Zed over. Let's end turn. Let me finish this up with Zed. Oop, that is not what I meant to do. I don't even turn on about her. Well, she's beating him up with just beating him up. I'm just in the habit of using auto battler that I turn it on automatically. All right. Let's go here, let's go Zed, special, last dang nation. Yeah, he could do it. She could do it if I put on the mana collector. So anyways, that's uh, how I am building up my... Max and trying to max out my classes while I'm building up my levels. You guys could do the same. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I didn't ramble on too much at the end. Let's see how much we get here. 307 billion. All right, I'm gonna have to switch to this. I'm gonna have to switch her to her having that mana move and switch to this one because it's more. Is it more? I think it's more. Now I gotta find out. I can't just leave you guys hanging. Let's go back here. Let's turn this all the way to max. This to off. Please come again. Let's run that lucky board one again. Okay, so Neo World, Royal Chamber Two. Get in my Auto battler on. I'm up. We're still doing this. Oh, my turn. Pico's turn. I oh, died. And we get ten billion. Yeah, that other way is a lot, lot faster. So I'm gonna adjust. Maybe to make them all uh, go all out on the DPS because they don't have to one shot them. And I'm going to switch over to that other map, which uh, let me show you where that is if you guys want to use that. Just remember that Let you want to make sure ready. that whatever star amount you have, you can handle them. I'm going to go with zero for a little bit and then 
build it up, and you have to have back to square one on, otherwise the gods of destruction don't show up. And oh. did you forget something? For now, I'm just going to turn Zed Zed's on and let everybody else defend. And also, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Abilities, abilities. We're going to go ahead and... I need two. So we'll drop Poison and Smart because they won't do that to her on this one. And we'll run it again. So remember, this one is Peaceful World, Bell of Blessing. Hero King <laughs> <Mike> <laughs> the fray. Hurry up. And since this one's giving us more experience, our class experience is going to go up well, as well. We we'll go ahead and check that after we beat this real quick. I bet you I maxed it out already or close to. Let me know when you're ready. All right, after this, we will definitely call it a video. I don't want to leave you guys hanging though. All right, so you kind of get an idea how quickly it goes. I haven't even auto run it more than one at a time and I think I ran the lucky board like two three times and the, the, the Lord of Destruction peaceful world one twice and you can see where it's at already so these these guys are gonna be maxing out their their ranks really quickly on this map so anyways that's where we're gonna end this I know I rambled on at the end but I kinda wanted to test that stuff out show you guys the method to my madness a little bit so anyways until next video take care bye bye now static buzz out Ooh, and they got the merits what did they get what did they get what did they get Defeat 3,000 enemies nice. getting there we are getting there Seventeen classes on Zed noise.